All right, guys. The gaming PC is now here. Oh, finally. It's all together and stuff like that. It was really annoying to try and get this crap in. So, lid recording, which is the first time I've ever, and I do mean ever, installed that. It was actually pretty interesting. I hooked up to this. But yeah, pretty cool. Found everything in there, and we're gonna start. All right, it is fully up and operational. Now I'm downloading Windows 10, so yeah, I gotta go through updates and shit again. <laughs> but yeah, this is like the keyboard and stuff he fits with it. Apparently, I think he bought from this place. I think he bought like a pre-built and was gonna take all the shit out. But he gave me it for like half that price. Well, he gave me everything else. I still have to get the RTX and i9, so yeah. Shit like that going on. I gotta update everything. Great. <laughs> I'll just finish. They even have the logo. Jesus Christ. You guys need why? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure he definitely bought this from him. I think I remember him saying that. But yeah, they even have like a little switch that can control the fan. It's fucking dope. I think it's somewhat like Hollow Escape. Probably not the same. You can completely turn them off too. Or just put it on Rainbow? Why put it on Rainbow? Aww. Uh -huh. Or am I not pushing on right now? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just gonna leave on green. Favorite color? So we're gonna stick with that. Alright. So everything's working good right now. Now I need to just figure out how to put that to that and dual stream. So I can have that streaming and recording while I use this to game on so I don't have to stream record on the same PC. Now that's the things I'm gonna have to figure out. That should be fun. Do you guys hear this thing? It has like, let's see, it has like six, no, seven fans. Jesus Christ. And it was annoying trying to plug that shit up. Seems like the liquid cooling is actually going through too. I don't know, people have said liquid cooling is like really bad, but personally, I don't think so. Unless I'm overclocking. I, if you're like overclocking, then I guess that would be bad. I'm not sure. I actually cleaned my room. Like, well, I did clean my room until you fit in like the box and stuff. But, yeah. Oh, uh, let's turn off the torch. Jesus Christ. Blinding myself. But, yeah, I'm not sure if this is even on my face. But, I will start doing like a 24 hour stream sooner or later. I'm not sure, I gotta figure out my work schedule and stuff like that. So once I figure that out, I will let you guys know when that's going on. And right now I gotta go ahead and install all this shit and change that background. I mean, it's cool, but it's like, meh. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in the next one. And so then, you a little bit of an update. Yo guys, this is pretty much the whole testing thing I've actually been doing. So now that my PC is like hooked up and everything, I can actually play Watch Dogs now. I played a few rounds of it just, you know, just to get the feel of it. You guys remember I had like so much issues with Watch Dogs. Like I couldn't play really anything. And now I finally can. It's actually pretty cool that I can actually play the games that I've been wanting to you know show off to you guys so now I can so I have a lot more to show you guys too you know including Watch Dogs I finally got the streaming PC and gaming PC connected together so everything you guys are seeing is being recorded from a stream PC and everything I'm playing right now Watch Dogs is on the gaming PC So as you can see, no latency or anything, dude. Everything is fixed. No lag. 
a recording delay, anything like that. Feels nice. So now I'll be able to bring you guys even more games that, you know, I wanted to try out. I just read this cool article. Wait, do you have to be like a certain distance? I have no idea. But I can't wait to, you know, try to finish the Watch Dogs series for you guys whenever I get the chance. But right now there's so many other games that I want to like, you know, try out and play and put up for you guys that I'm going to be doing that. So yeah, this is pretty much a test run through Watch Dogs, which is the first game that I wanted to play with you guys when I put up the, like, the whole poll thing for which series you guys wanted to see a playthrough for. And now we're going to switch over to the next. Alright, so maybe some of you guys remember I wasn't able to play the lab either. Hopefully you guys can hear me from this far. Hello, test traveler, and welcome to the Aperture Science. But it looks pretty good right now. I can actually see things now. And I can actually play VR. Everything's synced up, even though I had like an issue with the syncing. Alright. Please move forward. If you guys can't hear me, I'm going to try and edit this to make it a little better. Science face it is your gateway to a vast continuum of undiscovered worlds. I mean, my, uh... These undiscovered worlds really? may also contain undiscovered diseases, natural disasters, airborne toxins, and apex predators that hunt humans for sport. That's cool. Put the portal sphere on your face now. You sh shut the fuck up. I'm trying to say something. But you yeah. have not put the portal spear on God damn it, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jeez. But everything should be fixed now. It looks great. I haven't had any like gray screen issues yet. Seems like everything is going fine. Go get it. But yeah. Everything's going great so far. I haven't had any issues as we started up. But if you guys can't hear me, I'm going to try and turn it up as best as I can. Let me try to get back into here. So you guys should be able to see everything from my point of view now. And see the group, like the little gray screens that usually would pop up. Where are you at? Did you bring back the sticky little shit? Stab it. But dude, it's great to be able to play VR games again. I know I've been going through like withdrawals. I'll say I threw it pretty far. Can you go find it? Can you even find it? Holy shit, he wait, you went all the way around. Dude, you could have okay, whatever. But yeah, back to lab we go. Now I'm able to play this game, dude. Last time we tried, it was like really laggy. Oh yeah, these controls haven't been charged in a long ahead of time. They also still had dust on them too. Test traveler of pocket universe lab eight has survived. There's a secret shop for uh, I think. What the hell was it? I know it's 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 kind of like League of Legends two. Dota. That's what it was. I always wanted to do this one, but I'm going to be showing you guys some more games that work now. now. This always used to like lag so hard for me, which was like so annoying, but right now, it's like everything is good. Ah, there you are. And look at you, standing alone in the dark. Why? I am a terrible host. Here, take my light. I know my way around well enough without you. Don't be afraid. Thank you. There is plenty to oh, those are else heal things. All you have to do is look. But don't be surprised if something looks back. Treasure behind <laughs> in the dark. Don't let that concern you. We 
when it's time for lights out. Well, you see. Well, I have a few deliveries. Oh, there now. Good thing Roquefair is uh, out for the night. Maybe I do need a light in here. <laughs> Farewell, my friend. Yeah. If you play Dota, you recognize all these items. <laughs> oh, look at that. I didn't even realize that when I first tried this. I didn't realize the bird. What the fuck? You're not gonna do it anymore? <laughs> But yeah, there's more to that, but I would leave that for like a separate video or something. Alright, so what was the next game I couldn't play, but now I can play? I think VR was pretty much the major thing, to be honest. I'm not getting any other VR headset. I'm good. Pocket Universe Lab 8 it. has concluded an experiment. Bye. Congratulations, test traveler. What's this? I've never been in here. I don't control this ship, that's weird. But yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next game, which was, uh, let's see. Actually, I think I should probably say it at PC, it, just in case you guys can't hear me. I'll just voice over this. Okay, so I could now play Far Cry 5. This is the other game that I could not play, like, very well. Like, I could play it, but it wouldn't be, like, you know, fully clear. And if you guys have not been in this stream before, when we, me and Hollow were doing like a series on this, or just recording this, the main reason why we put that series on pause or did not ever touch it again was because of me and my PC and it was lagging. But I'm pretty sure like the things that helped me back the most in my PC was just having 8 gigs of RAM. If I would have upgraded to like 
Well, if my other PC didn't mess up, I would have tried to upgrade to like 16 gigs of RAM. And hopefully that would have, you know, kind of fixed it. But, yeah, unexpected things happen and that was not happening. HD textures, no motion blur, let's try that. See what happens. Maybe I do have to restart the game, maybe? My controllers, I mean my uh, mouse sensitivity is totally off. But it's good to be able to play these games that I've been wanting to play for so long. And now I can try to start up with Hollow again, you know, do some more things with him. And um, Waffle. I've been wanting to play with him too. I've been wanting to play with Perry as well. But I haven't been able to, you know, do that. <laughs> and so far, no lag. I can actually bring you guys like new high-end games and stuff like that. It's still freaking annoying guys playing the game. I'm like shooting way above that. At it once. <laughs> like I'm getting to drop a little bit. Coming in for attack run. Like this, I have not been able to do. You know, fully experienced like shooters. They with the fans who pretty much enjoy the shit out of shooters. <laughs> Now I feel like I can practice a lot more too. Oh god, that's weird. I'm gonna flank him. Dude, also, if you guys remember, these guys were like really aggressive each time we like started up the game, these guys would just be flying over our heads every time. Oh, that bastard. He tried the fucking Hiroshima me. The fuck, man? I hope I can bring you guys some more montages, too, man. It's cool. So good to be back. Now, you guys remember I used to play, like, a crap ton of games. Where is he? Did he leave? Huh. Guess he did leave. But me and Hollow do plan on starting up Far Cry 5 again and actually finishing it. If I remember correctly, we're like nearly done with it, to be honest. Yeah, we're at Jacob. We finished uh, John. Yeah, we need two more and we're pretty much done. And we're like halfway done with his. We just can't wait for that. Because this game was actually pretty fun. The only thing that held it back was pretty much the whole not saving each other's progress and friends not be able to, being able to unlock weapons and stuff like that. Like, it really made no sense. Because Hollow still basically at the start of the game for just playing off me, which makes no sense. You know, to be honest, I wish we would have played off his. He would have had all the guns. And I just would have played by myself solo and catch up. But, yeah. Nothing I can do about that one.
Oh, I was gonna die for you guys, but alright. <laughs> this game was like really fun now. For me, at least. We didn't want to play Watch Dogs 2, so I'm gonna. Well, the multiplayer of Watch Dogs 2 was kind of like this. Which, you know, most Ubisoft's game, Ubisoft games don't like save each other's progress if you guys are like playing with friends and shit like that. Which was never fun. The only good like multiplayer that they made was like Unity. That's all I can say. That's at least in my opinion. Oh yeah, am I in that fucking get high stuff? Okay. Oh no, is this no? That's not the same thing. Is this... Oh yeah, it is the whole Jacob thing kidnapping. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there before it spoils some shit for me and Hollow. So let's go ahead and not have this shit happen again. Stop. So yeah. Also, I gotta show my stuff. Because I am uh, basically, basically have everything set up now. Oh, yeah. What's that? So yeah, I have everything set up. Everything's all good. We have everything redownloaded. And before you guys think this is the BR, it is not. I play the, the PVE version, the campaign. <laughs> Just going to throw that out there. I am also dual streaming. Got that fixed and set up. I did not need an Elgato or anything. I just needed a cross cable connector. Yeah, cross cable like internet cord. And I'm basically sharing internet off of my streaming PC and my gaming PC. All that's going in and I can just dual stream now. I tested it and everything, you know, recorded stuff with it and everything's going great so far. Let me just all this shit that came with it. But, pretty fucking awesome, my guy. Well, guys, that's all I wanted to show you off to you guys and, you know, pretty much show you guys where everything's going. Things I can play now, you know, things I can show off and, you know, I can go further than just mobile games. You know, I'm still going to be uploading mobile games either way it goes, you know, I, I just been, you know, dazzling in a lot of mobile games. I still have a lot more to show you guys. But, just to let you guys know, I'm going to be dazzling in some more, you know, mainstream games a little bit. You know, showing those off, making funny montages, shit like that with friends. You know, making new, sh like, merch and shit like that. You know, I'm going to try and do a little bit more and put in a little bit more time. But, you guys got to work with me because I got to do work, actually. Got a job now, so we got to do all that. And, you know, just... Just work with me. That's all I gotta say. I know I won't always, like, you know, play your favorite games, like, all the time. That's why you guys should come to the Twitch stream where I can play your game that you want to see more of. You know, it's it's nothing different from just watching a YouTube video, but you're just watching me live. And you're able to interact with me while I'm doing that. Because I'm going to be uploading some of my Twitch series up to my YouTube you know, we're going to do it like that, like most, you know, streamers and YouTubers do. Which makes it a lot easier on me, instead of just, you know, recording it separate, I can have, like, a separate reaction with you guys and my reaction. So with that said, I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. Camera action. No time, no time to waste. I'm lost out when I found.